Okay, so we've got a whopper of a fish here. This is for four kg fish, 8.8 .8 pounds. This is a hamor, a type of grouper, also known as reef cod. I mean, it's really big. Look, there's a regular size can. So it's one, two, three. It's like four cans in length, just to sort of give you some concept of it. That's my arm. Really, really big, nice big head on that. Now we're gonna chop this up and get a few things happening with this. The head and the tail, we're gonna be using for a nice curry, a fish head curry, which is fantastic. Gonna get some steaks out of it. It's been cleaned, so it's been cleaned inside, it's been descaled, and it's had its, you know, thins and that chopped off. Let's get moving. Okay, so I've got the head off, and when I took the head off, I took all that out as well, which is a thin piece on the side. So that's an absolute beauty. We're definitely going to waste that. There's loads of meat in there and just very tasty. So head aside, we're going to get that into some steaks now. Okay, look at that. Absolutely fabulous. Really big and chunky. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Really, really big ones. We're going to make two things from that. So one, two recipes from there and the head and the trimmings that would make three recipes. Let's get on with it. So today we're gonna to make a fish head curry. Got myself a really whopper of a fish, a big hamor, which is like a cod, a grouper. It was actually 8.8 .8 pounds, four kg. Uh, taking the head off the tail. There's loads of fantastic meat in there. We're gonna cook this with some beautiful Indian spices and coconut milk, delicious. Welcome back once again to howtocookgreatfood.com. Let's go. Okay, we're going to start off with the fish head. And this is a massive head. And we've got a lovely piece of tail there. And in there is absolutely gorgeous meat. There's loads of meat here. Even those little bits there. Cut them up. You've got a ton of stuff there. Right, what we're going to do is get some lovely curry spices, a few vegetables together. This is delicious. So this is absolutely delicious and it's not that complicated at all. Let's take a look at the rest of the ingredients. So coconut milk, I've got in total six or 700 ml. Onion, cut nice and small, cilantro or coriander, whatever you call that. Some dried red chili, two, uh, sorry, three teaspoons there of cumin seeds. Tablespoon each of, that's ginger paste and that's garlic paste. We've got here some fresh chilies and here we've got our spices, one teaspoon of turmeric and then two chili, two, cumin and two coriander. Let's get to the cooker. Might have a couple of other bits, so I'll show you that on the way, but yeah, it's really simple. So we are gonna need a large pot with a lid. In there, I've got some oil. I'm using mustard seed oil today. You could use something different if you wanted. It's gonna pop those chilies in and the cumin seeds. Yeah, coconut oil, it will work really nicely in this or just a straight sort of canola, sunflower, something like that. Okay, just a few seconds here. Let these things infuse the oil as it heats up. And we're on quite a high heat right now. Next up, we're gonna add in our onion. And we're gonna go for about three minutes. Keep it moving all the time now. Fabulous. Now our ginger paste, tablespoon of ginger paste, tablespoon of garlic paste. I'm gonna be adding some salt now. Then our powders, so let's just take a look again. So we've got chili powder, coriander and cumin, two parts and one part of turmeric. I'm now gonna add in my fresh chili. I mean, that's optional as to how much you put in. We're gonna grab some water. I'm gonna let that go just for a couple of minutes on this high heat.
Yeah, that water's just two minutes. Next up, we're gonna add the fish head and the trimmings, the tail. And like I said, there's some lovely, lovely fish in there. Now we're gonna go with our coconut milk. I've got just a touch more here that didn't fit in there. We're gonna get some water. We're gonna stay on a high heat for about five or six minutes. It will start boiling away. And then what you wanna do is very simply Get that on a nice simmer and let that go. I mean, that size head, we're gonna let this go for about 25 to 30 minutes on a nice, let, low, gentle flame. Okay, look, so it's just reached boiling point. It's going for a few minutes. So now, nice low heat, lid goes on. I'm gonna let it go like 25, 30 minutes. In the meantime, like in, in the middle of the time, sorry, I'm gonna get in there and just flip the head over, just stir it around maybe once or twice, but we've pretty much done it. Okay, off goes the heat. Off comes the lid, I'll get a little steam out of there. But that is looking really beautiful. Really, really beautiful, I love that. Check that for salt, you might wanna adjust your salt level or something like that, I'm good. Cilantro or coriander, in that goes. And I didn't show you this earlier, but a little bit of garam masala powder on the go. A couple of nice hefty pinches. Really lovely finishing spice that is. That is beautiful. I'm going to give that a mix and then I'll see you at the table. Delicious. Okay, and there you go. Really, really super. I actually really love this so much. Great with some rice or with some bread, some chapati or something like that. But yeah, get in there with your hands and dig that out. It's really delicious. Hope you enjoy that. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We'll see you soon. Lots of love. <music>